Here's my life as a sacrifice. I'll be the incense, the sweetest fragrance. Holy yours, consecrated for only you, Lord. Just for you, Lord Cause I'm your temple A dwelling place for you And Lord, make my heart A pleasing home for you Oh I will live on the altar Oh You are worth what you ask for If you're searching for a heart is your reward Then I To see your beauty Cause you alone Are worth more than gold I'll trade the world for A day in your courts Cause I'm Your temple A dwelling place Please
Alyssa and Oscar, good to see you guys. See Thanks you so too. much for sitting down, talking about songs with us. Yeah. Man, talk about this song, On the Altar. Um, man, I, I found this song so challenging, you know, just mm-hmm. to, to listen to, you know, and um, just worshiping with it. And it's like, man, God, like I want to be, you know, I want my heart to be there, you know, mm-hmm. but it's, um, you know, it's such a powerful statement, you know, of laying your life down on the altar, something that means that something's going to die and so that something else can have a life in that. Um, but yeah, Alyssa, talk a little bit about just the thoughts behind this song, how the song got started. Great, yeah. Um, this song feels really special to me personally. Um, I started writing it just at home by myself, spending time with the Lord. Um, I had been reading Matthew, where it's like, if anyone wants to follow mm-hmm. me, they need to deny themselves, pick up their cross. And... I was just like you, really convicted and really challenged. I'm like, am I, am I still living this way? Like, I, I don't want to forget about surrender. And I think that's something that it's, it's been a theme, I would say, for our house at Upper Room is to really lay our lives down and mm-hmm. to minister to the Lord. Everything is His. He can do anything He wants with us. And I think that having a culture of prayer where we have a prayer room we're constantly in there, what we would say, like like we're priests unto the Lord. Mm-hmm. And we come and we bring a sacrifice. And priests tended the altar in the holy place. And it had to be clean. It had to be pure and all these things. And we know that the blood of Jesus cleanses us. And, you know, it's it's not like we're having to go back and, you know, try to redo all these things that he did. But I think just living until like, I want to be completely the Lord's and anything that he asks of me, I want to give him. Uh-huh. And so it just kind of started there. And a lot of the verses came from Psalm 27. Um, one thing I ask, one thing I seek is to dwell in the house of the Lord and to gaze on his beauty all the days mm-hmm. of my life. And that's, you hear that kind of in the second verse. Um, but I I also was remembering some of these old hill song songs and um like take my life I lay it down mm-hmm. you know and yeah. like arms open wide and these songs that I was like oh my gosh I I remember like where I was with the Lord there you know and I just felt like the Lord was reminding me of those things and so I started writing these simple verses and then I brought it to a lot of our team that uh, serves in the prayer room because we all serve in the prayer room weekly. And it just kind of felt like, oh my gosh, this song is what we're doing. It's 100% what we do Monday through Saturday in at the upper room. And um, I don't know, it just felt like one of those like heart songs from the house, you know, and then 100%. brought it to a lot of the team and we all just kind of added to it and obviously invited the Lord in his presence and like, help us, like, help us, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> sure. if that makes sense. So it's kind of where it started and a little bit of the heart behind it. Yeah. Yeah. I know when I first heard it, you were doing your prayer set. And back in 2017, we had this conference, Sif and I, and Elissa went, and this is like, one of, like there's moments that I will never forget. It was when she went to Lord Prepare Me to Be a Sanctuary. And like the whole room caught it. It was a really powerful moment. Mm-hmm. So I remember I was sitting in the her prayer set. It was just her and the piano, and she goes to the pre-chorus, because I'm your temple, you know? And I was like, I connected that moment with what happened in 2017. I was like, wow, this feels very similar. 
like, Lord, prepare my temple to be a sacrifice to you. Romans 12, you know, we're living sacrifices. And I remember just being there. I started crying. I was like, mm-hmm. this song is, it, like, we, as a, the body needs to hear it, especially in, a, in such a culture of, like, me, 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 me. It's like we, as Christians, are meant to lay our lives down to the Lord and to each other. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is just, it's a powerful, powerful song. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and let's even as you were speaking, and I was going to sharing, like, I, I even thought, you know, we were at church last night, you know, just worshiping. And I remember even Pastor Michael talking about just God, not only is there a sacrifice um, of laying down the altar, but what's created at the altar, this aroma, is mm-hmm. pleasing to the Lord. Mm-hmm. And so there's like this, the Lord is, you know, when, you, when He sees our sacrifice and us lay it down, there's this pleasure of God that surrounds that. Mm-hmm. And uh, connecting those two things together, um, it, makes, it makes this song even more powerful for me. Just like, it's like, wow. It's like, yeah, I'm called a sacrifice, but at the same time, like, my Father is, is finding His pleasure in like, you know, this sacrifice, seeing what I'm offering, seeing what I'm laying down, it actually creates, mm-hmm. you know, his pleasure for him. So yeah. I, I, think, I think it's just cool because, like, the sacrifice of obedience, you know, when Abraham obeyed the Lord that he's going to sacrifice his son, you know, he was accounted righteousness. And it's like in that moment, you know, it's like because of his obedience, now he's a father of so many. And I think mm-hmm. that's kind of the, for me, that, when, I hear, when I listen to the song, I'm like, man, it's like, Lord, I want to be. I want to be anything. It'll be the oil. I want to be a sacrifice. A laid down lover all my life. I'm like mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's even cool about that bridge is, it came from a prayer set, and we added it to the song because we didn't have a bridge, and we had tried the song so many times, <laughs> so many different ways, um, corporately, and just never a bridge. We we're like maybe something will come spontaneously, mm-hmm. and and things did, but. It didn't feel right. And we were sitting here in the studio one day with Joel Fig. He's a writer on the song and a worship leader. And I remembered this prayer set that he had a noon set. And that's where that spontaneous chorus came from. Mm. We were talking about when Mary um, poured her oil. And I, Pastor Miller was, he was... Um, kind of intertwining that like our lives are the oil our lives are the tears our lives are the kisses that she gave and Joel started singing I want to be oil I want to be the sacrifice and I remember that and I asked Joel I was like what what would you think like about adding this to the song if it feels right to you you know and he was like yes let's do it and it just kind of it these there are songs that kind of write themselves mm-hmm. you That's know cool. And um, this kind of felt like that moment, the bridge was kind of there and kind of stewarding what's given in the prayer room as well and writing songs from that place. And sometimes they just fit perfectly. And so it felt really cool to have that. For sure. Well, Oscar, walk us through what you're playing on the keys there. Uh, So the intro and the verse are the same chord. So it's the one, we're in the key of F, uh, one to the six. to a five sus to a regular five and then a six five four and then I do a little walk down here one over three two five sus six five four six five the chorus is a four So the, the bridge is four one five six, and the chorus is four one six five. Super simple song, and it's pretty much it for the song. Really powerful song. Thank you guys so much for sharing it with us. Thank you, Jimmy. Good to be here. No.